Life is not just the passing of time. Life is not just the passing of time. Life is a collection of experiences, their frequency. and their intensity. Life is not just watching the clock tick away. Life is a collection of experiences. Their intensity, their frequency. You've got to let go and let it happen. Because if you don't, you're going to be all clutched up. You're going to be constantly trying to do what can happen healthily only if you don't try. Existence, the physical universe, is basically playful. There is no necessity for it whatsoever. It isn't going anywhere. That is to say, it doesn't have some destination that it ought to arrive at. Same way in dancing. You don't aim at a particular spot in the room. That's where you should arrive. The whole point of the dancing is the dance. But I've learned the greatest challenge of life is knowing when to break with conventional wisdom. Don't just accept the world you inherit today. Don't just accept the status quo. No good challenge has ever been solved and no lasting improvement has ever been achieved unless people dare to try something different. Dare to think different. I don't tell people that they're okay the way they are. No, I say, no, no, you could be way more than you are. And they're relieved about that, you see, because if you're in a dark and terrible place and someone says you're okay the way you are, then you don't know what to do about that. No, I'm not. I'm having a terrible time and I'm hopeless. You're okay the way you are. Well, then what? That's it? That's it? That's where I am? And what do you want to tell a young person? You're 17. You're okay the way you are. It's like, no, you're not. You got 60 years to be better. And you could be way better. You could be incomparably better across multiple dimensions. And in pursuing that better, that's where you'll find the meaning in your life. And that will give you the antidote to the suffering. You gotta have heart. When you're making these moves, when you're going to work, when you when you executing these dreams, you're doing this for your life. And it ain't nothing more valuable than that. So have your heart when it's time to accept those challenges. Next step, ask yourself, what's blocking you? What's preventing you from acting? Why don't you have the courage to handle that? Why won't you face that? What are you running away from? What kind of avoidance behavior are you engaged in? And so my question to us is this. Every single day in every aspect of our lives and the things we're privileged to do and the people we're connected to. When the situation or the moment does not go out, because we all know what to do when it goes right. But when God says no, who will you be? But most importantly, who's watching you and who can be blessed by the opposition, the adversity, and the challenge that you're facing? Every day of the week, I think we're tasked to make this world a better place. Let's never forget why we exist and why we do what we do every single day. Let's never take this thing for granted and think that a alarm clock wakes us up. If you look at life as it is a trial ground, a testing ground for where you need to belong, where you need to go. Suffering is a fact of life. If you look at suffering the right way, it is a great tool to callous your mind. If you look at it as suffering, woe is me, this is bullshit, God kicking rocks, 
if you look at it like, okay, testing me now. I get it. Whenever I'm being like depressed, I go through depressed moments, I'm, oh, hang on. I'm getting, I'm getting tested. So you have to be aware of all the signals and signs that are, that are being given to you from the world. One of them is if you feel bad, you're being tested. How are you going to perform under that? And that's suffering is a part of life. That time is now. It will always be now. It's time to add your brick to the path of progress. It's time for all of us to move forward. And it's time for you to lead the way. You'll go for it until you understand it. You'll practice it until you develop a skill. Never give up until, however long that is. Step by step, piece by piece, book by book, go for it. Don't miss the chance to grow and resolve that you'll pay the price until you learn, change, grow, become. Then you'll discover some of life's best treasures when you pay that 